Hey guys, Anthony Shaw here and Jason Jones from Raw Strength Gym and we were just having a conversation about um, bad posture and how people really want to train their abs but they don't get the most out of training and often what you think you're doing in the gym correctly is actually hurting you and Jason's got a really cool story of how not training himself correctly in the gym actually affected his, his performance. So Jay, look, just tell us like um, the story you were telling me a few minutes ago last year about when you were in the lacrosse world championships. Yeah, so essentially, I got down, well, we trained hard for about six, seven years, working our way up to that tournament. Um, obviously, did the, did the full strength routines, put myself through all that hard work, got to game three of the tournament, and my hamstring went. As easy as that. Popped, went down for, you know, sprinting down the pitch, popped on me, had to get taken off, and I missed the rest of that game. Um, luckily, I had a good medical team that strapped me up and kept me going, but for the rest of the tournament, you know, I was not sprinting as hard as I could have done. Yeah. I wasn't able to perform the way I could have done. Um, and really, it didn't even come down to the fact my hamstring was weak or whatever. It was because I had bad lower back posture, yeah. which then impacted my hips, which then hit, impacted my hamstrings and ruined an entire tournament for me. Yeah, yeah. So as we were saying, like the, there's three major things there that I'm not sure if you noticed, but number one, he was active and he was training. And you think that people who are actually be training wouldn't get injured, but sometimes athletes can be the most banged up uh, people possible so even if you don't play a sport what we're about to show you now is actually going to help you um, get rid of like aches and pains in your lower back get rid of um, any kind of tightness in your hips and really make sure that you don't get injured but also that number two your posture improves so you can actually look better like if, look at me now if I make my shoulder blades tighter and I make my hips come under suddenly I look a lot slimmer compared to here I bring myself to here so we're going to show you actually the correct exercises that you should be doing in the gym every single week to change your body into like a slimmer version of yourself, okay? And then finally the last thing um, is that when he actually did get that, that injury, it was because his hips were tilted forwards, his lower back and everything were, were a little bit tight. And we're going to also show you how you can deal with that and make sure that you can get the visible abs that you've always wanted. Okay, so the three things that we're going to look at that you're probably doing wrong in the gym right now is the upper back, what we tend to see is that the shoulder blades, if you face the, the clock there, the shoulder blades are actually rounded apart here. So that's because we tend to be rounded and work on the keyboard all day or sat down. And so what we're going to do is teach you something to strengthen the shoulder blades here and that'll bring you more upright. It'll be make your posture improve so your abs can contract better. Okay? The second thing is where the hips are here, they're actually tilted forwards. So if you can see this curve in his lower back there, that's because if you stand facing me, the hips are tilted forwards instead of being level and neutral. So if you imagine the abs being stretched out here, it's a really bad leverage position for them to be able to contract correctly. So again, we're going to show you quickly how you can fix that. The last thing is then the glutes here, because we sat on them all day long, I'm not going to touch them, <laughs> but they're going to be really like matted up tight, but also sleepy and inactive. So we're going to quickly show you how to fix that as well. The first movement to fix a weak upper back is called band pull apart. So what Jason's gonna do, hold the band up in front, stretch by keeping the arms straight. This makes sure that the shoulder blade muscles are actually doing the movement as opposed to your arms doing the movement. Then, as he turns around, you can see that his shoulder blades are squeezing as he's lifting his chest up, which improves posture. And if he turns around again, so you can see him from the back, you can see the shoulder blades actually moving in his upper back and squeezing and pinching together there. So that's gonna improve your posture immediately and also get rid of any shoulder pain. So you're in a seated position all day and the top of your hip and the top of your quads goes really, really tight all along here. So to reverse this, we're gonna go down into a hip flexor stretch, making sure that your front knee is over the front heel, the hips are in front of the back knee and we're just going to stretch out that back leg so taking it from the seated position all the way down and behind you to stretch it so this will take you from a seated tight position to help stretch and realign your hips. Final and most important part is activating your glutes. The glutes are the strongest muscle in the body and because we sit on them all day they're lazy and they're asleep so to activate them after we've stretched the hips you're always going to go up into a glute bridge as Jason's going to show now and then squeeze up as high as you can and contract both bum cheeks together super, super hard. Then go back down and just do a couple of reps on there just to squeeze and activate. 
So the secret to developing visible lean strong abs is not what you think, it's actually improving your posture so you can allow the abs to contract forcefully and correctly every single time you train. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more then subscribe to our YouTube channel and like our Facebook page. I'll talk to you soon.